Yo guys, and welcome back to the West Ham United career mode on FIFA 23. And today we have got a kickstart of this uh, episode with the FA Cup quarterfinal at the bridge uh, against Chelsea. I think we've done relatively well against most of, uh, pretty much most of the time when we played them. So I'm looking forward to it because this could, you know, the FA Cup is... Obviously, a, a competition that we're trying to win in this series, uh, in this season. You know, we won it for the first, we won it in the second season. Dramatic style to get to the final, and then never even played in the final. I really can't, oh, do you know what? I really can't remember anything. I genuinely lost for words at who we played in the final in the last, last season. I know we played Burnley in the semis. Fuck knows. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. But, uh, we have got Chelsea in the quarterfinals here at Stamford Bridge. Hello and, and hopefully, hopefully, Bridge, fingers crossed, we can go through and give ourselves a decent uh, competition in the semi-finals of this competition. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Prowse, Vinicius, about Schellier in for Martial. That is lovely play, and that should have been a goal, but Martial just couldn't quite find the finish, but that was... Love to get them. Cabral is going to rise again. No, he's going to hit the bar this time. Rice should win that against Kante. He does. Gives it to Vinicius. Who got? Oh my God! What a goal! <laughs> you know when you just they sit up for you and you just have to hit them. That is spectacular. From Vinicius Junior, that is an absolute worldie. Ross just nods it down to him. That touch on the left foot and then the, oh, to hit that like that, that is incredible. Vinicius Junior with an unbelievable goal to put us 1 0 up here against Joe. Vinicius will find Kavashkelia. Kavashkelia makes it 2 0. Nice, simple as that. Easy peasy. And we look like we could cruise through to the semi-finals of the FA Cup here. Vinicius Jr. and Kovacskelia linking up. And the Georgian has done it again for us. So that is a lovely goal. Just really nice football. Played in. Always going to get ahead of the defender. And left foot or right foot. He is just scoring every single time. He's been so worth, was it the 60 million we paid for him in January? He's absolutely come leaps and bounds in that sort of gap to fill where Lucas Pacatar has been injured and he's been brilliant lovely stuff and well, Martial has just beaten Badi Ashili I think and Martial does make it free can't remember if that's Badi Ashili or not I think he wears number 4 for Chelsea but it doesn't matter because Martial has made it 3-0 for us a lovely ball from, from Vinicius to find him there and it's just sim it's simple football but we are the best at playing simple football and we are cruising here at the bridge. Oh no, it's Shalaba. I've only just realised it's Trevor Shalaba. I feel so bad. Can't remember who it was. It's been a long, I've had a long week. <laughs> yeah, um, that's, that's my bad. But Martial is not bad, and he just he carries on his goal score. On oh, Vinicius, Skavatskelia. Should, oh, I probably should have taken that further. That could have been, that should have been four. But I got greedy. I thought I'll take it from further out. Chelsea starting to come back into this now. Havertz on Moreno. It's a good stop from Marmadashvili. It's a very good save actually. Oh, that's a great ball from Martial to find Kavatskelia. Kovacskelia could make it four, does make it four. As if there was any doubt that our Georgian master struck. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. As if there was any doubt he wasn't going to score there. He could have had a hat trick if I was actually taking chances slightly properly. That one that he had the one and one before where I've just shot from distance. Yeah, I, I thought I uh, will try our luck, but this time we didn't want to make that mistake. Chelsea have been all over us the last couple of minutes, so I just wanted to make sure we did get that goal. And we lead going in 4 0 into the break, which is a good thing, really. And that genuinely was the last kick of the half. Absolutely brilliant. 4 0 to the good at Stamford Bridge here. And it looks like we're going to be heading to Wembley once again here. 
uh, quarterfinals, 4-0 up. We are absolutely cruising, playing some beautiful football to get there as well. And scoring some absolute worldies. That Venetius goal was just something else. You know, sometimes you look at it and you go, oh, I can't get better than that, but it does. Venetius has just proved to be an unbelievable signing. Him and Kovacskeli have been unreal this season. So, yeah, very happy with the half. And let long may it continue. Very well there. Martial, wonderfully waited Martial finds Bowen. Bowen could make it five here. Oh, needed to make it five. Should have made it five, but Edward Mendy makes a good stop. Done well, Patrick Schick here. Oh, and Havertz has just skipped away. Yeah, it's a good goal. It's a little bit annoying that we couldn't just win the ball back, but Kai Havertz has made it 4-1. Uh, Sorry, well, we'd scored a fifth. We haven't. Um, yeah, it's just it's good play, but... Ake okay, just couldn't get there, couldn't get anywhere near him once he put the ball up, so frustrating to concede, especially in the way that we have and how well we've played before that point, but yeah. Havertz always seems to score against me, man, it's just, it's every time, man. It's a lovely ball to find, Schick. Oh, it's Havertz again. Oh my god, and he should have scored. That should have been 4-2, really. It's a lovely chance that he's just wasted there. Right, Scalia. We'll find Vinicius. Who will find the back of the net for a fifth. Vinicius Junior this time, making it 5 1. A lovely composed finish this time. Not uh, not a well struck volley, but a lovely goal nonetheless. Good ball from Gavach Scalia to find him. Just composed on that right foot. And he rolls it into the bottom corner. It's a lovely goal. We do, we do play some very nice football at times. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's route one, sometimes it's lovely build up on the floor. But it doesn't matter, we get the goal. Five. Oh, Vinicius is in for a hat trick. And he is getting a hat trick. See what I mean about when we play lovely football? It's just sometimes unbelievable. The, the sort of one touch stuff there, and then that's just a lovely ball. And Vinicius is so composed on either foot now. It's so good. It's unbelievable football. 6-1 and we are definitely heading towards the FA Cup semi-final. So on the cusp of the final whistle and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, the result has never really been in doubt. Oh, so come out of absolutely nowhere. That's a great save from Armadish V. Should be one. There's one. Oh, that's another good stop by Sher. By Shirky, by Marmadash Vilo. Ziyech this time. Shirky finds Martial. Martial will go for it. Oh, it's a stonking finish from Anthony Martial to make it 7-1. <laughs> you can take nothing away from the quality of goals we scored here. Absolutely phenomenal. Just, oh, it's unbelievable stuff here. Look at that for him. It's a good ball. Martial just gets away and goes, you know what? I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna point. hit the upper that's fucking stanchion, and he's done just that. that Anthony Martial was a, proved to be a very good signing, given we got him on the free. For, uh, and it's just. A, James. Now with Jorginho. Jorginho. Oh, that's some nice stuff. Jorginho. Oh, I'd have. Do you know what? Fair play. <laughs> that's come straight, that's, that is actually very nice football from uh, from Chelsea there. And Schick pulls probably the most pointless consolation goal you'll ever see back for Chelsea. But that was lovely play. Just couldn't get it away. And Jorginho just managed... This is a great back heel through the legs of Tilo Kera. And Patrick Schick was never going to miss from there. Armadash Vili could only throw an arm at it. But yeah, great goal. Got no complaints from me there. And there is the full-time whistle. We are heading to the FA Cup semi-finals here and a Vinicius Junior Masterclass has put us through to Wembley here. 7-2 winners against Chelsea. Unbelievable display of football from us with some con with some absolutely corking goals. We have deserved our win here and that is everything and more.
the week of the last four. Look at that, just absolute domination. And yeah, a deserved route through to a semi final. And I'm fairly sure that, yeah, yes, she Sheffield Wednesday beat Arsenal to, at the Emirates. And we could be playing either Liverpool Wednesday or Huddersfield in the FA Cup semi final, which means this cup is very much on. And that is everything we could ask for. Yeah, the, FA, the FA Cup's just going to be an unbelievable one. Paris FC want Nichols on a loan deal. I will delegate that because I don't want to sell him. So. Did we, get, did we get Wednesday, did I just see? That's absolutely incredible. If we've... We've managed to get Sheffield Wednesday in the FA Cup here. Oh my god, we have. We've got Wednesday in the semi-finals. Abs Do you know what? Big team Sheffield Wednesday, so we can't we can't take that for granted. We did play Burnley last time in the semi, so who knows anymore? It's just, oh, that's 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 probably the best draw we could have hoped for. However, it does mean we're probably going to play uh, Liverpool in the FA Cup final if we make it through, of course, but. Yeah, that's a that's gonna be one that we've got to look out for, I think. But we have got scouting reports to go through. Hopefully, with any luck, they found us some decent ones. Uh, he's all right. Scott Roberts looks like he could be all right. And is this our? Yes, yeah, the English one. So hopefully, there's some decent ones here as well. A lot of high overall, but low. A lot of high potential, but low overall, which is just not what you want to see when you're doing scouts. So, and PS, I almost called them P PSG. It's not PSG. P PFC. I don't know. Who knows anymore? But we have got big games coming up now. Um, Everton. You know, we won't play Everton, but they are a big game for us. So we'll go back to the full strength eleven. We're we still looking to wait and see who we're getting in the Champions League, but I'm sure we'll find that out at some point. Um, yeah, Everton at home. If we we need a win here, realistically, when we do get one, Vinicius Junior, Kvatskelia, and Zaniolo getting us the goals. That's what we like to see, because obviously that lost to Spurs in that in the last episode was demoralizing so on skamaka has reached his his peak apparently of a 92 overall which is quite incredible possibly the best striker on the planet at the minute in this career mode 92 overall that's unreal and he probably should get um more dynamic potential next season purely off of the basis that he's got like 40 odd goals already he has been superb for us and uh, spain still won us as the manager but we're not going to do international management in this. I don't see the point. It's, it is what it is. But we have got Liverpool next up. Where do they end up going to? CD Lugo for, for a year. But that will obviously happen next season. So not too upset to lose him there. Because um, he's a young player. Good, good overall at uh, a young age. And he's got high potential. So... That's what we want. We want to build up some sort of a youth core. I don't know how long the series is going to go on for, but... Oh, we've got Milan in the Champions League. Uh, and we can change his position to a left mid. Didn't do anything to him. Literally didn't make a change. I figured he was better as a left mid purely for the fact that he's got all right stats anyway. So... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have made him a midfielder. Who knows? We'll find out, though. And yeah, that's the youth squad report. Yeah. Here we go. Liverpool away. Needing a result as well. We all... A lot of the time we do get results at Anfield, so... It's... But I do, I, every now and then I do remember that we lost 9-2. was it? 9-2? Something like that. <laughs> Every now and then that creeps into the back of my mind when we play Liverpool, so... 82 goals scored in 28 games. That's unreal. 
What's that? Yeah, Liverpool away. Big, big game. Need a result to keep ourselves in that title hunt. And hopefully we can manage that, but we'll see how it goes. Zaniero again. Hopefully we get a really good game here. Batschkelio for Skamaka. That's really lovely football, but a great save from Alan. On Zaniolo's in. Oh, and he's at the post. Don't believe it. Cabral. Oh, that's a great stop by Ariola. To deny, I don't know who's denied, but it's a great save nonetheless. Oh, and Serge Milinkovic Savage, that's a brilliant goal. Full pelt into the top corner. Ah, that's frustrating. It's been a very open game, and Milinkovic Savage just thumps Liverpool ahead. Not what we needed, really, but. Ah, that's that is really annoying. Nothing you can do about it though. Just really lovely play. Yeah, and he just gets he gets through. It's just unbelievable. What a strike to be fair to him. To put that much power into a shot and it not cannon over the bar is very impressive. So as frustrating as it is, uh oh well. Skelia finds Skamaka. And Skamaka finds the back of the net. There's never, ever a question of where that ball was ending up from. The main man, the Italian stallion. I couldn't even speak, but it all happened so quickly. That ball from Zaniolo to find Vashkelia in. Vashkelia is brilliant through ball for, for Skamaka. Unbelievable. It's a great goal as well on that left foot of his. Just thumps it into the top corner. No chance for Allison there. And a lovely goal to get us back on terms here. Absolutely stunning. Skamaka. On Zaniolo. And Zaniolo rolls it in for 2-1. What a brilliant turnaround. What a lovely goal. Yet again, both the Italians linking up again. That old partnership of Zaniolo to Skamaka. Well, this time Skamaka to Zaniolo. Who loves a goal against Liverpool, to be fair to him. What a lovely bit of play. Finds Zaniolo and just rolls it in on that right foot of his. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Lovely, lovely stuff. And we've turned the game around completely. Oh, and Skamaka's nabbed it. Skamaka. Oh, it's 3-1. <laughs> I can't believe what I've just seen. <laughs> That's unbelievable. A gift from the Liverpool defence has given us a third goal. And Skamaka will take that happily every day of the week. Just about nabbing it off of him. And then we just... <laughs> it's just... It's comedy when shit like that happens. But Skamaka and we, has profited so much off of those. Unbelievable. G. Lewanka Skamaka with another goal here, and we lead 3 1. This might be ideal for the counter. Coach Skelly will find Skamaka, who's in for a first half hat trick here. Oh, it's a great stop by Allison to deny him a hat trick, though. Encouraging move from West Ham. Oh, and Skamaka's gone around the goalkeeper. Is that going to be an own goal? Is that going to be the, the hat trick for Skamaka? Either way, uh, it's going to be an own goal, but we do lead 4 1. It's just, it's lovely play yet again. As this ball, this reverse pass, just a little bit wide for him. Goes around the goalkeeper. And to be fair, I don't get why that's being given as an own goal because it's going in. Canato is just. Do you know what? To be fair to him, he's made the most out of that, Canato. <laughs> it's a great finish. There is half time. We do lead 4 1. Is it 4 1 or is it 5 1? I think it's 4. Yeah, it's 4 1. Do you know what? I don't know what day of the week it is after time. <laughs> yeah, 4 1 up at half time. That's just some absolute scintillating football. That quick fire three goals just turn the game around is unbelievable. And, and especially, you know, the way we've, con we've just gone about it, we've just been so good. We are unbelievable at football sometimes. When we're, when we're playing at our best, then, you know, if we played like this against Spurs, I'm sure the game would have been differently. But, ah. Uh, oh, well, we can't look back at the past. 
just have to think, focus on what we can do, which is beating Liverpool here again. So let's just carry on the second half. Hopefully, we can carry. Uh, hopefully, we can get a few more. Skamaka. Skamaka finds Kavatskelia. Kavatskelia. Oh, there it is. Yeah, of course. Rolls in for number five. And Kavatskelia has done it again. And we are just running riot yet again. In every game we play at the minute, we seem to be the top well, and dominant and the team. We've scored so many goals this season. It's so been simply again. unbelievable. It's a lovely, lovely composed finish on that. But and just rolls it in. Just rolls it in. It's all you need. Don't need power. Just place it into the bottom corner. Oh, it's a great strike from Fabian. It's a great stop from Areola. It's a good ball in. We do just about get it away. Is that it? Oh, just unbelievably. Just pacing Trent here. Zaniolo. Oh my god, what a lovely goal. Just composure of, of all sorts. Zaniolo gets on the score sheet again. I think it's, yeah. And that's just, it's so good from Kovacigelio. Just paces Trent on that right hand side. Or the left hand side for us, really. And he just spots Zaniolo at the back post. We've just gone, do you know what then? Have it. And Zaniolo, who hasn't scored as many this season, does get his second of the evening. It's just a brilliant, brilliant counter attacking goal. Yeah, so like, can I get it then? What is going on here, eh? What is going on? I'm so confused with what's just happened there. The amount of times it just didn't let the... People were just falling over. The ball just wasn't going anywhere. And then Nunes had it like 15 times. And it's just ended up in the back of the net from a stupid angle. I, I don't get it. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, like, I don't care because I'm winning 6-2, but... So many little... It's so, it's just a catalogue of errors. And Areola should 1 million percent be saving that from there. But, oh well. Nunez is going to have a go. It's a great strike and Areola makes a save. But you'd expect him to make that one. There is full time here at Anfield. And we've won 6-2 in the end. Another high scoring game for us. And deserved winners though. We, again, scored some absolute... Brilliant goals and thoroughly, thoroughly deserved our win. But that is a great way to get ourselves back into winning form in the league. And yeah, look at that, absolutely dominated. Ah, it's just lovely to see. And Skamaka getting two more goals and a couple more assists. He is having a season of a lifetime, man. Yeah, unbelievable. And what a win. Now we go straight into another one. Southampton at home. We are, should get a win here, realistically, but you never know with this game. Just about Declan Rice giving us a 1-0 win. Keeping us in that Premier League title hunt. We were five points behind with a game in hand. I'm not sure where we situate ourselves now. and We won't be able to see because we've got ourselves Milan in the Champions League quarterfinals. A really big opportunity for us, though, in this uh, quarterfinal, though. Because this is, like, an absolutely mega affair. Because I feel like Milan are a beatable team. And to get to another semi-final would be brilliant. Um, obviously, I don't want to jinx anything. We are getting towards the back end of this season, though. So, another, another chance, really, uh, at the Champions League would be... Incredible, and it's exactly what I think we deserve. I'm going to quickly look to see where we situate ourselves in the Premier League. So 68. Okay, so we're still five points behind. But we've got eight games to get that five-point gap down. I feel like Tottenham are going to have a worse run in than we are. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be a difficult one, though. No matter what, it's going to be difficult. Um... I hope and pray that we can get back because if we lose if we lose that in the title to Tottenham, I will never ever forgive myself. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Skamaka 
a, a chance up top here in the Champions League. Just because he isn't, he's not really playing many of the Champions League games. I feel kind of bad for him. So, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to do what we can. First leg at the London Stadium. Obviously, they've got some great players. You know, Liao, uh, Tonali, Vert. Even Mahrez is there as well. It's just it's unbelievable. So, no wonder they're here. Um, but yeah, who are we going to give it our all? As we always do. Champions League quarterfinal yet again. Who'd have thought that we'd be here this quickly? I mean, I wouldn't have thought that we'd have won two Premier Leagues in two seasons, so... <laughs> it's, it's beyond the realms of, like, realistic ready, so... Who knows? But this is a, a monumental tie. Milan, one of the best teams in Europe. And we are welcoming them to the London Stadium for a Champions League quarterfinal clash. Hopefully we can get the better of them, but we'll have to wait and see. That's a great stop by Marmadashvili. Couldn't get near the player, Shirky. And find Skamaka. Back for Ryan Shirky, it's a great stop by Minan. What a brilliant save. So good. Shirky, very unfortunate not to score there. It's a great opportunity, though. Just goes begging for us. Before still. Arnold, Okafor again. And in the end, he gets saved. Just can't get the ball out of our own corner at the minute. It's frustrating that it ends up with them time and time again. It's a great stop, though. Be one of the most boring halves of football you'll ever see compared to what we've just had. 0-0 at the break against uh, Milan here. And that is... It's been a good half, but we just haven't been able to get the ball where we need to. They've been so re like, unbelievably resolute in their defensive stance. That we just can't break them down, but they can't break us down. So, it's typical Italian football, really. Just defend, defend, defend until they get a break. So, yeah, we'll have to see. But second half... Got to be a little bit better, surely. He's got the right idea, well, Please that play pass. that pass the right way. And Okafor, yeah, of course. There you go. Fucking 16 million passes that don't go the right way. And eventually it'll give Okafor a chance to get a goal. Just can't be bothered, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just can't be bothered when just simple fucking shit doesn't go. It's just it's so frustrating. But yeah, now we've got to come from a goal behind in a game that's not looking favourable to me. So brilliant. Vinicius. Oh well, there we go. <laughs> it's unbelievable that. Well, immediately level. Just a pointless exercise giving them that goal then. Because at least when we score, it's a, like, well worked and it's actually decent. But no, when fucking Milan get a goal, it's fucking awful. Yeah. Vinicius with... I think that's his 28th goal of the season, to be fair to him. Which is somewhat incredible. So, absolutely fantastic. Shirky on oh, Vinicius is clean through. This has got to be 2 1. It is 2 1. And Vinicius Jr., this time, every time we count from corners, we are just devastating at it. It's so unbelievable. And Vinicius is so quick, it was never getting caught there. And there was only one way that was ending. My man tried to put him off, but Vinicius Jr. just doesn't care. And he has turned the game around for us. All in is one John here. Two very, very well worked goals from us. And Oka 4, yeah, 2 2. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Every time it's come away from one pass that just, just doesn't go where it needs to go. <laughs> and this, this time it's, it's come from Ake just trying to get it there. Yeah, it's just all, every time. Every single time. Don't get me wrong. Good finish from Okafor. He's done very well, but it's just frustrating to concede in the manner that we are 
But yeah. Oh well. It's a great knock to find Skamaka. Oh, it's a good stop again from Minan. I don't know why Skamaka hasn't taken that on his right, but it's still. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, and Shirky, that is a brilliant, brilliant goal. On his right foot, puts us back ahead. And this has been a thrilling first leg. And what I said at the second, at the end of the first half, surely it has to get better, and it has. Been goal central in the second half. And that is a, fa a fantastic finish from Ryan Shirky on his right foot. He's had a couple of very good chances, but that is just whippage into the far corner. And that is brilliant. Oh, and Kovacigalia, this could seal it. And Shirky does seal it. First leg pretty much over and done now. They committed bodies forward. We just had them on the counter yet again. And Rayan Shirky has his second of the game here. And that is a lovely, lovely bit of play. The relief, because this has been a tight contest all game. And Shirky was never missing an open goal. Let's, let, let's not... Well, take the piss here. That was always ending up as, as a fourth goal for us here. And we take a, a two-goal lead, hopefully, tomorrow. And Shirky. And Bowen. Finds Kovacskelia and makes it 5-2. Lovely, lovely football again. Cut, cut it back to the byline. We put it to the byline, cut it back. And Kovacskelia off the bench with a goal and an assist here. Absolutely brilliant, and that is a five goal, a three goal lead. Sorry, taken into the second leg. Looks very comfortable for us now, as they they're just committing too many forwards, and we're just getting the benefits of that by just playing the game the way we want to play it. It's a massive, massive result this to take away into next episode. Job done yet? There is still a second leg to play. But a 5-2 lead is what we come away with in this match. A very good contest between us and AC Milan. They gave it their best. And to be fair, they were testing us quite a lot throughout that second half. But we just about edged them. And that is exactly what we needed. And a, love, a lovely way to start our quarter-final uh, charge. Or our Champions League charge. Real Madrid beat Man City at the Etihad. And Matt... Uh, Big, big tie, that. Um, Vinicius Jr. again, absolutely brilliant. Every game that he's played, he's been superb for us. Skamaka, a little bit of a ghost of his uh, his usual self in that, in that uh, game there against Milan. But now, obviously, we get another big game in the Premier League against Leicester here. Need to win to obviously keep up with uh, Tottenham and their title charge. But... If we can do just that, if we can get ourselves a big, big three points against what I want to say is a good, a good Leicester team. Obviously, they got relegated in real life, but they are fifth in this career mode. So, and a win for them lets them hunt us. So, hopefully, this could be three points. Oh, and we've lost. Isaac got the winner. Ah, that's not good. We're probably not going to win the Premier League in this season. So, the treble dream is probably over. But, as long as we commit ourselves very... As long as we do well in the Champions League, I don't really care. Obviously, I want to do well in every competition. I want to win every competition, but... Uh, you can't... You can't expect everything. Skamaka with 47 goals this season. And he has just been incredible. Vinicius Jr. with 29, you know, that's unreal for a left winger. He's hitting tremendous numbers. Even Kovacskelia, who's only come in since January, has scored 20 goals. That's unbelievable stuff from the Georgian block. Yeah, only, only a select few and over double digits for goals, but assist wise, Skamaka has got 70 goal involvements this season. That's unreal for, for a striker. That's incredible numbers. That is a Ballon d'Or worthy fucking season. Pakatar's been injured for most of this year and he's still our second and highest assister. 
He's only played 18 games. He is two months away from being fit. I think he, he'll miss the end of the season, obviously, but frustrating because you know, we want him to do well. He's, he's been our be one of our best players throughout this career mode, so yeah. Obviously, it's not nice seeing him injured, but oh well. You can't do anything when the game injures players, so. But that is going to end this episode. Uh, next episode, we've got some big games. Obviously, we'll have the Champions League quarterfinal second leg against AC Milan. We'll probably have that semi-final against Sheffield Wednesday as well. And, I don't know, whether we can claw it back in the league is going to be really, really difficult to see. Obviously, we've still got fixtures against Brentford, Norwich. We should win those. Yeah, We've only got two real teams that can test us in towards the end of the season, so... Uh, it's going to be a difficult one to call because we can still technically win the league, but until that point, oh, fucking PSG just scraping through against Bayern. That's really annoying because I didn't want to play P. I didn't want the chance of us playing PSG again. <laughs> oh fuck's sake! Um, yeah, Premier League. That was not our game in hand, but we are now eight points behind, so we do have to. We've got six, seven games to build up a, a enough points, and uh, Tottenham got Tottenham. We've got Chelsea. That's a big game, to be fair. Hopefully, Chelsea can do us a favour there. And they've got Fulham. And they've got Man City. That's a massive one. And they've got Crystal Palace. I don't know. We've got Newcastle as well. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. I don't know, but uh, if if you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.